Hey what's up YouTube? Today I'll be showing you guys how to install the Futaba receiver to your Phantom 2. So this is what we're going to be installing. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Phantom. Okay so as you know I installed the IOSD Mini internally. As you can see from here I put it on the board. So I'm going to be putting that inside over here so I could put the receiver on top. Okay, so once you got that off, you can just take off the tape and we'll put a new one. So we'll take this off as well. Okay, so what you want to do is put that right through the board. As you can see from here, it's right underneath. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to put a new set of tape on this side here. And we will be sticking that this side wall on the other side. Okay, so at least now we have an open space to place our receiver. Like so. So I got my double sided tape placed. Now all you have to do is just pull the other end. Just pull it in. And guide it through until you get it to the side. So you can see there I just flipped it on the side so there you go guys I got it tucked in right inside on the wall as you can see it's right on the wall there so it's not hitting the battery whatsoever and then the rest you just have to uh, fold this and tuck it in like that okay so now you have an opening for your receiver so the next step is to remove the old receiver so this is the one right here it's got some glue on the side that's holding it together so just have to pull it out if it doesn't come out just pry the glue okay so it's off so just try to pry out the glue that's on the side there remove this top cable and we will be removing this cable which is the X1 cable we don't need that anymore so just take that out and then we put this back on top okay, okay so the next thing you want to do is grab your receiver and grab your cable that you took out from the old receiver and place it over here at the bottom right here like so So make sure the brown is on the outer left. So now we could power it on. See if the receiver is working. Okay, so as you can see, it's solid green. The connection is excellent. Okay, so next you have to remove your old receiver. There was two screws, just unscrew them. Pull it out through the battery compartment. like so it's an optional if you want to take it off or not in my case i want my phantom to be lighter so i decided to take it off okay so that is the old receiver with the two screws it weighs around nine grams and the receiver with tape on the back weighs 12 grams okay so now all you have to do is just place this on the board okay so like so and then your antennas will go through down to the landing skid and then to the other side as well okay so there you go guys and there's your antenna and then the other antenna goes over here. So just tape them up and you're good to go. Okay, so there it is guys. I put a zip tie in there to make it nice and tidy. And then all you have to do is just put the cover back and you're ready to go. All right, so next step would be binding the receiver to your remote control. So double click on link. Go to system.
scroll down to make sure this is the fast tech 14 channel then press enter next go to link the beep was on so just wait it out until the LED turns green which means we have a connection okay so next thing you want to do is calibrate your phantom go to your DJI phantom 2 assistant so with your remote control now you could start calibrating it Okay, so as you know, my button here is reverse. It was on norm before, but for some reason, when I start my um, Phantom, I have to press the joystick all the way up to start it. So I had to do the reverse so that I could start it from the bottom like this. So I don't know what's wrong with it or there's something that I'm doing wrong. But anyways, I'm just gonna put them in reverse. Okay, so that's pretty much it, guys.